Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and welcome to another Shootout Sunday. Today I'm going to be talking about the Calgary Flames and uh, what sort of prospects they have, what their team's like and what you can expect from the Calgary Flames, what I think you can expect from the Calgary Flames in the not too distant future. So um, they're in rebuild mode, but I think they're nearly there. Um, they did really well in the back end of this season. They had uh, a lot of pluck, a lot of determination. And unlike the Buffalo Sabres, who literally traded everyone of value at the, at the trade deadline, uh, Calgary sat pretty tight and didn't make any major moves. So to that end, they've kept a lot of their veteran core. Uh, Yuri Hudler, uh, Camilleri, Glenn Cross, Giordano, they're good, solid pros, and they're going to give Calgary a solid base uh, going forward. Um, that being said, last year, one of the best things that they did was uh, uh, the drafting of Sean Monaghan. He's, he's a leader. Uh, he's he's going to be their number one center. He's been the number one center that they've been crying out for for years and years. And, uh, you know, excuse me for saying it, but I think that he kind of displays the leadership skills that shows that he's, you know, kind of a, a mini Jonathan Taves in the making, which is, you know, great for Calgary fans. Um, maybe slightly disappointing was the performance of Sven Barchi. Uh, over the course of the season and he did play uh, a lot more in the AHL after I don't think he was getting the opportunities that he really needed in the NHL so maybe getting sent down to the AHL and, and honing his craft was the right sort of move but Calgary have a really interesting drafting uh, drafting strategy they've made a number of moves over the last couple of years that have kind of raised a few eyebrows I think Jankowski uh, and uh, Poirier were players that they picked uh, a little bit off the board but they obviously see something in and only time will tell whether these longer term prospects will actually uh, come to fruition and after that uh, you kind of look at what what sort of other exciting prospects do they have and this is the point where I want to talk about uh, Johnny Gaudreau, uh, who uh, lit it up in the World Junior Championships, he lit it up in the NCAA and uh, won the Hobie Baker Awards uh, this year. Uh, but he's tiny, right? This is a five foot eight guy. This is a, this is a, a mini. This is a Martin St. Louis, right? Uh, and don't get me wrong, I think you can clearly see that the guy has talent. Uh, he's got great hands. He's got a little bit of spark about his game. He's he's going to be a, a scorer. So. Couple him up with Monaghan, and is is that the the top line of the future? Uh, where does Sven Barchi sit? Uh, uh, it's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how the Calgary Flames develop. They've they've used a lot of their trading ability, uh, like the Aginla trade last year, where they got a couple of forwards in Hanowski and uh, Agostino uh, from Pittsburgh, and they've used um, uh, some of their slightly lower draft picks that have been developing in the AHL to uh, bring forward now into the uh, full Calgary Flames team to flesh out their their bottom six and they've got a they've got a really decent sort of bottom six uh, set of forwards that's uh, that really show uh, how difficult they were to play in in the second half of last season they raised a few eyebrows they caused a few shock results and they had that kind of never say die attitude which is what you know hungry young players uh, are going to bring you and if you can surround them with the right veteran talent uh, players like uh, Camilleri, uh, Giordano and the leadership of Monaghan uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what Calgary need to do they've got the fourth overall pick this year so there's probably going to be another very good forward or very good D-man that's going to fall right into their lap. And he may or may not be completely NHL ready uh, when they pick him. So uh, with their drafting strategy in recent years, are they going to go a little bit off the boards with their first overall fourth overall pick? But uh, I really don't know. It's going to be interesting to see, that's for sure. So that's my analysis on the Calgary Flames. Please leave your comments below and, and like this video if you want to see some more Shootout Sundays and subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.